Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. Çizmek, to draw, yeah. I'm really bad at drawing, but let me give you a good example about it. Resim çizmeyi çok seviyorum. Resim çizmek is drawing a picture. Resim is picture. Resim çizmeyi çok seviyorum. Yeah, I really like to draw a picture as well, but since I'm really bad at it, I just don't draw anything. Nette surf yapmak. Surf the net. Net is net in Turkish as well. And surf is surf. I think it's pretty close. And yapmak is like to do the activity itself. So, nette surf yapmak. Her gün nette surf yapıyorum. <laughs> it's like I am surfing the net every day. Of course, I'm not doing, no, it's not true, but... <laughs> Bir müzik aleti çalmak. Play a musical instrument. I really like that because I can also play something. I can play piano, so I'm going to give example about it. Ben piyano çalıyordum. It means like I was playing piano in the past. <laughs> Satranç oynamak. Play chess. I did that too. Satranç oynamak, but of course, like... You should speak fast, right? So you should say satranç oynamak. I know you can do. I used to play chess actually when I was in middle school. So I was really bad at it too. <laughs> I don't know why. I was really bad at everything <laughs> I tried. Anyway, if you want to ask, do you play chess? Then you go like satranç oynar mısın? Yüzmek. Yüzmek. It means swim. Swimming. Yeah, it's my favorite hobby. So that's why I picked it. You can say like havuzda mı? Yüzersin denizde mi? Would you prefer to swim in pool or in sea? Havuzda mı yüzersin denizde mi? Well, personally, I prefer pool. <laughs> I'm such a princess, maybe. Ananas. Pineapple. I think I really like ananas. And did you know, like, if you eat ananas, then it helps you lose weight. Yeah, I checked a lot. <laughs> I I searched a lot about it. It doesn't grow in Turkey. Yeah, like not everyone is eating or it's not so popular in Turkey, maybe. Ananas kilo vermene yardımcı olur. Which means <laughs> pineapple helps you lose weight. <laughs> it's important, right? <laughs> Kavun, melon. Uh, I think it's my, sorry, but least favorite <laughs> fruit. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm sorry, Kavun. I really don't like you. <laughs> so my example is, of course, Kavunu sevmiyorum. I don't like melon. Sevmiyorum means I don't like, I don't love. So I don't like melon. Kavunu sevmiyorum. I said it so dramatically. <laughs> Kavunu sevmiyorum. No, like maybe it sounds better like that. Ah, Kavunu sevmiyorum. Elma. Apple. Oh, it's cute right <laughs> it's i don't know why did i say cute to a fruit i think apple is cute <laughs> uh, in old times in turkey maybe in like in turkish villages if you have someone you love but you're just too shy to show your love and in old times in turkey it was kind of um how should i say not so okay to show your love so the girl was giving an apple to a guy it means i love you <laughs> So if, if the girl just gives the apple to the guy, guy understands, oh, maybe this girl has feelings for me, maybe like that. Her gün elma yemek sağlığınız için çok iyidir. It means like eating apple every day is good for your health. Çilek, strawberry. Oh, that's my favorite. I really like strawberry. Even, even when I speak about strawberry, I'm so happy. Çilek is awesome. Even like the sound is nice, right? Çilek. It's like something even cuter than apple. <laughs> Çilek. Strawberry. So that is why my example is, of course. Her gün çilek yiyebilirim. I can eat strawberries every day, which is true. Her gün means every day, as I said before. Her gün çilek yiyebilirim. In Turkey, we also have like this as a name for girls. Çilek, strawberry. Hey, strawberry, how are you? Hey, Çilek. <laughs> it's really true. Like some girls are named as like Çilek in Turkey. Çilek, naber? Naber means like, hi, how are you, Çilek? <laughs> like that. Portakal, orange. 
I think it's same everywhere in the world, but in Turkey we think if you catch cold or flu and then if you eat orange, then you'll be get well soon. Maybe that's why I kind of don't like it because like every time when I eat orange, portakal, <clears throat> I remember the old times when I got sick or every time when I got sick, I had to eat orange because my family just pushed me to eat <laughs> orange. It reminds me kind of being sick. I'm sorry. Oh, so yeah. Let's give example like that. If you if you catch flu, then just eat orange. Eğer grip olursanız portakal yiyin. Oturma odası. Living room. Actually in Turkish, oturma means like sitting down. So it's like sitting down room. <laughs> oturma odanız çok temiz. Hmm, çok beğendi. <laughs> it means like, oh your living room is really clean. I really liked it. <laughs> Yemek odası. Dining room. Um, in Turkey, I think we don't have like a separate dining room. Usually, maybe like living room, dining room, kind of same for us. Benim evimde yemek odası yok. There is no dining room in my house. Mutfak. Kitchen. Mutfakta vakit geçirmeyi seviyorum. Çünkü yemek yapmayı seviyorum. It's kind of long, right? It means like I like to spend time in kitchen because I like cooking. Banyo, bathroom. I like to be in bathroom. <laughs> we also say like take bath, uh, taking bath. Bath is banyo, so we are using the same word. Banyo yapmak, taking bath. Or for bathroom, banyo. Banyo da ayağım kaydı, which means my foot slipped in the bathroom. Çamaşır odası, laundry room. Mm, Turkish housewives use that kind of room for like cleaning, doing laundry and ironing, that kind of stuff. So not every house has this kind of room, but sometimes I see that kind of room in some houses. We don't have, we, are, we, have, we have a really small house, like three people only, so we don't have. Kırmızı, red. Red is my absolute favorite color. <laughs> Kırmızı bir ruj almak istiyorum, which means I want to buy a red lipstick. Sarı, yellow. Türkiye'de taksiler sarıdır. Taxis in Turkey are yellow. <laughs> I think in the rest of the world it's yellow as well. In Japan it's green, no, <laughs> green, white, maybe. Yeah. Oh, but we have pink actually. We have pink taxis like recently. I want to write pink taxi. Mavi, blue. Mavi bir gökyüzü altında uyumak istiyorum. I said, I want to sleep under a blue sky. So poetic, maybe. <laughs> Mavi bir gökyüzü altında uyumak istiyorum. Yeşil. Green. Green is my second favorite color. En iyi arkadaşımın göz rengi yeşil. My best friend's eye color is green. It is really green. He has really beautiful green eyes. Pembe. Pink. Türkiye'de pembe taksiler de var. In Turkey, there are pink taxis as well. Well, usually it's yellow, but recently we have pink. Eylül, September. We actually use this word as like a girl name in Turkish. There are some Turkish girls whose name is September. <laughs> we use it, yeah. And I think it's a pretty name actually. Eylül adında bir arkadaşım var. I have a friend whose name is Eylül. Dün. Haziran. I like summertime. Maybe it's because I was born in summer. So June is kind of my favorite. Not my favorite. My second favorite. After my birthday. Haziran'da hava çok sıcaktır. Weather is very hot in June. Aralık. December. So it's Christmas time, maybe, right? But we don't celebrate Christmas. Oh. Too bad, right? <laughs> we celebrate New Year actually, but we don't celebrate December 25. Aralıkta, İstanbul'da kar yağar. In December, it snows in Istanbul, but it doesn't snow at all in where I came from. Antalya, Ocak. January. My mom's birthday, January 27. Yeah, I'm not gonna say her age. <laughs> Maybe she'll be angry. Ocak'ta annemin Doğum günü var. My mom's birthday is in January. Ağustos. August. 
And my birthday is in August. Remember well. <gülüyor> Benim doğum günüm 16 Ağustos'ta. My birthday is August 16. And um, I'm a Leo. Actually, I don't believe in but I'm a Leo. Yeah. <gülüyor> Güneşli. Sunny. Yeah, I like sunny. Of course, sunny weather. Güneşli havaları severim. I like sunny weather. Yağmurlu. Rainy. Yağmurlu havalarda dışarıya çıkmak istemem. I don't want to go out in rainy days. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's wet. <gülüyor> it's just wet. I don't like to go out. Rüzgarlı. Windy. Türkiye'nin kuzey batısı çok rüzgarlıdır. Northeast of Turkey is very windy. Fırtına. Thunderstorm. Fırtınada balıkçılar denize açılmaz. Fishermen don't go fishing if there is thunderstorm. There are many fishermen in Turkey because like we have Mediterranean Sea, Black Sea, Aegean Sea, seas. <laughs> yeah, we like fish, I think. Kar. Snow. Eğer kar yağarsa kardan adam yapacağım. If it snows, then I'm gonna build a snowman. Tuzlu. Salty. They say like Turkish foods are kind of salty. I think that's true. Then let's say Turkish foods are salty. Genelde Türk yemekleri tuzludur. Usually, Turkish foods are salty. Tatlı. Sweet. Oh, it's my favorite flavor. <laughs> Sweet. Tatlı. For dessert, we also say tatlı. And like in English, we say, oh, he's a really sweet guy, like that, right? We then use the same word, tatlı. Ah, çok tatlı biri. Well, as a flavor, the most famous Turkish dessert is baklava. Baklava is very sweet. Baklava çok tatlıdır. Baklava çok tatlıdır. Acı, bitter, hot or spicy. Well, we can use acı for all of them actually, but we have some other words too for different situations. For example, we have baharatlı for spicy. Acı also means spicy. So what is the difference? If you say, oh, it's like acı, then I understand that it's very, very hot. Like, oh, very hot, I cannot eat like hot pepper or like something that, you know, you cannot eat. But if you say baharatlı instead of acı, then I'm gonna think, oh, it's like spicy, but not like you cannot eat, like you can eat, like it's just the level of spiciness is normal. Oh, have you ever tried çiğ köfte? It's like a Turkish meal. And if you're kind of interested in Turkish culture, I'm sure you heard before. And it's very, very hot, very hot. Like, well, it depends on how much paprika or hot pepper you put, but usually they put so much. <laughs> Çiğ köfte is very, very hot Turkish food. Çiğ köfte çok acı bir Türk yemeğidir. And bitter, for example, we have bitter chocolate, right? Um, Turkish people can say acı çikolata. Some people are using bitter instead of acı. But both are okay. Ekşi. Sour. Okay, when I say sour, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is Lemon. Lemon is sour. <laughs> Limon ekşidir. Limon ekşidir. Lezzetli. Tasty. Lezzet means like taste, flavor. Lezzet or tat, actually same. So if you add L and I at the end of the word, then it becomes tasty. Lezzetli. And if you want to say, oh, this food is really tasty, I like it, like that, then you should say, oh, çok lezzetli. Çok lezzetli. Do you know that we do like that in Turkish? This means like, oh, very nice, very tasty. Çok lezzetli. Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at turkishclass101.com. Ispanak. Spanish. Popeye the sailor man. It's very famous in Turkey to Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> just we are saying the name different. It's Temel Reis. We just gave him a Turkish name. Popeye eats spinach. Temel Reis. 
ıspanak yer. Soğan. Onion. Soğan. Onion. In Turkey, like, we basically use onion for all kind of meals. If you want to say onion, I don't know if you want to say, but if you want to say <laughs> onions make your eyes wet, soğan or soğanlar gözünüzü yaşartır. If you want to say onions make you cry, soğan sizi ağlatır. Patlıcan. Eggplant. Patlıcan, eggplant. Now we have a very famous Turkish food and we make it from eggplant and it is called İmam Bayıldı and it's very very famous so if you go to Turkey, if you're planning to visit Turkey, please try it. İmam Bayıldı is made of eggplant. İmam Bayıldı patlıcandan yapılır. Brokoli. Broccoli. My favorite vegetable is broccoli. En sevdiğim sebze brokoli. Or you can say en sevdiğim sebze brokolidir. Taze fasulye. Green beans. Taze fasulye, green beans are very famous vegetables in Turkey because we have a very famous Turkish food and it is made of green beans. And um, sometimes we say Ayşe Kadın to green beans. Ayşe is actually a girl name. And kadın means woman, the woman I share like that. Uh, when, when I say in English, it's like so meaningless, I know, but we use that kind of word for green beans in Turkey. Ayşe kadın or taze fasulye. Very delicious, very, very delicious Turkish food. You should try. Yeah. My grandma cooked a meal with green beans and it was really delicious. Ananem or büyükannem, both means grandma. Anneannem taze fasulye pişirdi ve çok lezzetliydi. Okay. Mühendis. Engineer. In Turkish, like it's kind of for me hard to say engineer. And my mom always used to make fun of me because I cannot say the word properly. Watch this mom. I'm saying it properly now. <laughs> Mühendis. Engineer. Let's be just simple. Let's say I am an engineer. Yeah. How do you say it? I am an engineer. Ben bir mühendisim. Ben bir mühendisim. I am an engineer. Ofis çalışanı. Office worker. Ofis çalışanı. Office workers sit in the office all day. Ofis çalışanları her gün ofiste oturmak zorundadır. Ofis çalışanları her gün ofiste olmak zorundadır. Both are okay. Hemşire. Nurse. I always wanted to be a nurse when I was a child. Çocukken hemşire olmak isterdim. Çocukken hemşire olmak isterdim. Yeah, actually I did it. When I was in elementary school, there was like a school festival. And like teacher said, if you guys already have the costume, then I'm going to give you that role. So who, who has the nurse costume? Like she asked the class, but I really wanted to be the nurse, even though I didn't have. I said, I have. <laughs> and then, of course, my teacher made me the nurse. And I told my family that I need a nurse costume and we bought a new one. So I became the nurse. Police member. Police officer. If you say polis, it's also okay. Police officers catch the criminals. Polisler suçluları yakalar. Polisler suçluları yakalar. Avukat. Lawyer. Avukat is lawyer. Benim avukat bir arkadaşım var. Benim avukat bir arkadaşım var. I have a lawyer friend. Kitap. Book. Do you like reading books? Kitap okumayı sever misiniz? Or kitap okumaktan hoşlanır mısınız? I like reading books and my favorite book is Harry Potter. Tebeşir. Çok. Yeah, I remember there were like different colors of chalks and yeah, very nostalgic. Bir kutu tebeşir aldım. Çünkü ben öğretmenim. I bought 
a package of chalk because I'm a teacher. Kara tahta, blackboard. Kara tahtaya yazmak için tebeşir kullanılır. You use chalk to write on blackboard. When I was a child, I was like doing so many shapes, flowers <laughs> to blackboard before teacher comes. Defter, notebook. İlkokul öğrencileri defterlerini kaplar. Elementary school kids cover their notebooks. So in Turkey, we did that a lot in our childhood. So it's kind of very warm feeling for everyone, you know, childhood, good old days. Eve devi. Homework. I don't like doing homework. Eve devi yapmaktan hoşlanmıyorum. Yeah, I didn't like when I was a child. Do you like? <laughs> Does anyone like doing homeworks? Masa. Desk. Actually, um, in Turkish, we say sıra for desk. If you're in a school, then you can use sıra. But if you're in an office, then you should say masa instead of sıra. Masamda birçok kağıt var. There are so many papers in my desk. Bilgisayar. Computer. So if you want to say desktop in Turkish, then you go like masa üstü bilgisayar. Benim masa üstü bilgisayarım var. I have a desktop computer. Toplantı. Meeting. There are usually many meetings in companies, right? So yeah, we use the word toplantı. It's very, very common. If you want to complain <laughs> to your co-workers like, oh, today's meeting was so long, then you can say in Turkish like, bugünkü toplantı çok uzundu. İş arkadaşı. Co-worker. İş arkadaşlarınla iyi geçiniyor musun? Are you getting along with your co-workers? Maybe like your boss can ask you, right? Are you getting along with your co-workers? Müdür. Manager. Boss or manager, we say müdür. There is always a manager in the office, right? <laughs> Müdürünüz kim? Uh, who is your manager? Göz. Eye. Can you see my eye color? My example is, gözlerin çok güzel. Your eyes are very beautiful. <laughs> it's a compliment. You can say this to a lady, right? In Turkey, if you want to compliment to a lady that, oh, your eyes are very big, then we use the word eşek gözlü, means donkey eye. <laughs> Do you know donkey? So it's kind of good thing. If you say this, then they will be really thankful. They will say, oh, really? Oh, thank you. It's like, oh, senin gözlerin eşek gözleri gibi. Yes. Burun. Nose. If you are not happy with your nose, if you think it's too big, then you'll say like, oh, burnum çok büyük. My nose is too big. <laughs> Dudak. Lips. Dudak. Dudak. Dudak. Angelina Jolie'nin çok büyük dudakları var. Değil mi? Katılıyor musunuz? <laughs> Angelina Jolie has very big lips. Don't you agree? <laughs> Kaş. Eyebrow. Kaş. Can you see my eyebrows? My friends say my eyebrows are very thin actually, but I like that way. So they say, Kaşların çok ince. It means like, oh, your eyebrows are very thin. Yanak. Cheek. For example, if we think that a girl has a very beautiful cheeks, you can say like, oh, yanakları kırmızı kırmızı, which means, oh, like her, her cheeks are very red. To emphasize, we say the word twice. Kırmızı kırmızı. So kırmızı is red, so it's like red, red. Kanepe. Sofa. I have a big green sofa in my house. Evimde büyük yeşil bir kanepe var. Yatak. Bed. I like to sleep in a large bed. Ben geniş bir yatakla uyumaktan hoşlanıyorum. Masa. Table. Masa tenisi is table tennis. My table is really messy. Masam çok karışık. Like if you have so many papers and stuff and like that. Ah, my table is so messy. Ay, masam çok karışık. Kitaplık. Bookshelf. There are Turkish books in my bookshelf. 
Kitaplığımda Türkçe kitaplar var. Sandalye, chair, evimde ahşaptan sandalye var. I have a wooden chair in my house. Actually, I don't have wooden chair or sofa or anything. It's a really small house. <gülüyor> baş ağrısı. Baş ağrısı. Baş means head and ağrı means like ache, like hurt, it hurts like that. So baş ağrısı means uh, headache. I think many Turkish women <laughs> have headache. So it's a really common word. You know, married couples in Turkey, <laughs> like after 10 or 20 years, you know, just everything is being in a routine and just like people just don't want to be in some kind of <laughs> relationship. And of course, men just asking like, um, hey, like, let's have fun tonight. But women are always saying, oh, no, I have headache. No, like this is very usual in Turkey. So the woman is always, ah, başım ağrıyor, bu gece olmaz. <laughs> Ateş, fever. If you want to say, oh, I have fever, then you say like, Ateşim var. Çok ateşim var means like, oh, I think I have high fever, like that. Yeah, çok ateşim var. <laughs> çok ateşim var, like that. Nezle, cold. Catching cold. For me, yeah, I always catch cold. I think I'm kind of weak, yeah. Ben çok nezle oluyorum which means like I catch cold a lot. Ben çok nezle oluyorum. Özellikle kışın, especially in winter. Özellikle kışın çok nezle oluyorum. Her gün nezleyim. I catch cold every day. Grip. Flu. One step higher is grip, we say. Ah, grip oldum, it means like I caught flu. Ah, in Turkey, when we meet someone, maybe, you know, like, uh, we are so friendly, so we just like the hug and kiss, hey, how are you, like that. And um, if you just catch flu, everyone is saying like, ay çok gribim, gelme. Which means like, oh, I caught flu so badly, please like, don't touch me, like, don't come. One more word from me, it's taking medicine. İlaç almak. If you just catch cold or flu, and then what you do? Grip oldum, I got flu. İlaç alıyorum, I'm taking medicine. Grip oldum, ilaç alıyorum. And you can post it to your Instagram, <laughs> like Turkish girls maybe do. Maybe everyone is doing right now, right? Even though you're sick, you're just like, oh, I'm so sick today. <laughs> Dizüstü bilgisayarı. Laptop, computer. Dizüstü means like above the knee. I don't know why we are saying like that, but we are saying above the knee computer. It's laptop. <laughs> Dizüstü bilgisayarın var mı? Do you have a laptop computer? Uh, but in Turkish, like, um, I don't know why, maybe it's because, like, it's too long to say dizüstü bilgisayarı. We also say laptop, but our pronunciation is kind of different. We're saying, like, laptop. Some people say laptop, but some people say laptop, and it's both fine, I guess. Ekran. Monitor. Ekran means monitor, <laughs> monitor, but we also use it for, like, to say, like, screen, like television screen or so. If you want to say like Televizyon ekranına çok yaklaşma. Don't get so close to television screen. And we, we use that word like ekran. Televizyon ekranına çok yaklaşma. Çok yaklaşma means just don't get so close. So close means like don't get close. Maybe it's like yaklaş, yaklaşmak, yaklaşma. Televizyon ekranına çok yaklaşma. Niye? Why? Because it's not good for your eyes, I guess. Fare. Mouse. In Turkish, fare also means like mouse, I mean that animal, and also like computer stuff. I think I really don't like mouses. <laughs> mice. I really don't like mice, yeah. Let me give you an example like that. Masanın üstünde fare var. There is a mouse on the table. Masanın üstünde fare var. But which mouse? We don't know. <laughs> Masa means table and üst means like on. The table means masanın üstünde. Var is like, var is word for there is, there are, like var. Masanın üstünde fare var. Yazıcı. Printer. Uh, yazmak means like to write. Yazdırmak means to print. Yazıcı means printer. So we just kind of arrange the verb. We just changed it and made it like yazıcı. Example. Yazıcının mürekkebi bitmiş. Which means 
there is no ink in the printer or it's like it's over. Mürekkep means ink. So yazıcının mürekkebi bitmiş. Then our last word is hoparlör. Hoparlör, which means speaker. It's important, right? Important to know. <laughs> and my example is hoparlörün sesini çok açma. Don't make the speaker so loud. Hoparlörün sesini çok açma. Usually Turkish moms say that. <laughs> Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at turkishclass101.com. Arı. B. Okay, so every f- member of my family got stung from a bee, uh, except me. So I'm kind of very afraid of bees. I really don't like bees. Let's say. Arılar bal yapar, which means bees produce honey. I don't like honey as well. <laughs> Karınca. Ant. When I was a little kid, I used to <laughs> kill ants. I'm sorry. I'm such a, I was such a bad kid. Uh, I think in Turkey, I'm not sure though, but if you have ants in your house, then it means like, oh, like you'll be, you'll be rich or you'll be wealthy or something like that. So ants are kind of like good animals for us <laughs> somehow. Uh, and Turkish people believe that um, ants are very productive. So we say karıncalar çok çalışkandır, which means uh, ants are very productive. Yeah. Sivrisinek, mosquitoes. Uh, I hate this, especially in summertime. We have a lot in Turkey. Let's say, yazın Türkiye'de çok sivrisinek olur, which means in summertime there are lots of mosquitoes in Turkey, and it's true. <laughs> Hamam böceği. Cockroach. Hamam means bath and böcek means insect, right? So it's kind of like insects in the bath. <laughs> These insects are not in just bath, right? I mean, if I'm not wrong, but we call it that way. I don't know why. Mutfaktan hamam böceği çıktı, which means there was a cockroach in the kitchen. Ağustos böceği. Skira. Um, Ağustos means August. So böcek, böceği means insects. Because it's a it's an insect, usually appears in like summertime. I think that's why we call it Ağustos böceği, which means insect in August. Ağustos böceği ile karıncanın hikayesini okudunuz mu? Have you ever read the story of Ant and Skeeter? I don't know if it's universal story, so if it is, just teach me. <laughs> Giymek, put on. I think we use this word for all kind of clothes and shoes and everything. Bugün lacivert peyimi giydim. I wore my blue shirt today. Yes. Like <laughs> çıkartmak, take off. Um, we can use for shoes, dresses, clothes or your accessories like I'm taking off my watch. Saatimi çıkarıyorum. Şu an saatimi çıkarıyorum. I'm taking off now. <laughs> like that. Take off. But you don't use put on for watch. You say saati takmak, not saati giymek. And saati çıkarmak. Saat is watch. Saatimi çıkarıyorum. I'm taking off my watch. Yıkamak. Wash. I hate wash my clothes every day. Her gün kıyafetlerimi yıkıyorum. I wash my clothes every day. It's a big lie. I don't wash my clothes every day. Once in every three days, maybe. Kurutmak. Dry. Elbiselerimin kuruması uzun sürdü. It took long time for my clothes to be dried. <laughs> in cold weathers, maybe. It takes long time for your clothes to dry. <laughs> Ütülemek. Iron. Do you guys do? I think I don't do usually. I'm bad at ironing. <laughs> Ütü yapmayı sevmiyorum. I don't like ironing. Ütü yapmayı sevmiyorum. Or ütülemeyi sevmiyorum. Ütü yapmak or ütülemek. Both are same. You can use both. It's fine. Thank you. Nakit para. Cash. Nakit para. Cash. I don't have it in my wallet. <gülüyor> ATM'den nakit para çektim ve cüzdanıma koydum. ATM'den nakit para çektim ve cüzdanıma koydum. I withdrew money from ATM and I put in my wallet. I said. 
ATM is ATM. Kredi kartı, credit card. Kredi kartı, bankalar, kredi kartı vermek istiyor. Which means, banks usually try to give credit cards. I mean to customers. <gülüyor> Kupon. Kupon. Kuponunuz varsa indirim alabilirsiniz. Kuponunuz varsa indirim alabilirsiniz. If you have coupon, then you can get discount. Ehliyet. Driver's license. I'm not a very good driver. I think many people prefer cars, especially in Istanbul. Ehliyetim var ama araba süremiyorum. Ehliyetim var ama araba süremiyorum. I have driver's license, but I cannot drive. <laughs> anahtar. Key. Key. Anahtar. This is the key for my house. So, evimin anahtarı. My house key. Key. Dünya. Earth. In English, sometimes you can say earth and sometimes you say world, right? But we don't have different words. We use the same one, dünya. So there are 7 billion people living in the world. Dünyada 7 milyar insan yaşıyor. Gezegen. Planet. Gezegen is planet. Planet is gezegen. Well, we used to have nine planets, but since Pluto is not accepted as planet anymore, we have eight left, right? So let's say we have eight planets in our solar system. Güneş sistemimizde sekiz gezegen vardır. Mars. Mars. Maybe the pronunciation is a bit different. We don't say Mars, but instead we're saying like Mars. Do you think there are aliens on Mars? Sizce Mars'ta uzaylılar var mı? I said sizce. It's kind of formal, not so formal, but formal way of saying this sentence. If you want to say this sentence to your friend, then you should say sence instead of sizce. Sence Mars'ta uzaylılar var mı? Or, sizce Mars'ta uzaylılar var mı? Uzaylı is alien. I think there are, but not in Mars. We are not alone. <laughs> Kuyruklu yıldız. Comet. Halley's Comet is visible to naked eye from Earth in every 75 to 76 years. So let's say in Turkish. Halley, kuyruklu yıldızı, her 75 yılda bir çıplak gözle dünyadan görülebilir. Yıldız. Star. Starry night is yıldızlı gece. If it's a starry night, then the weather will be nice tomorrow. Eğer yıldızlı bir gece varsa, yarın hava güzel olacak demektir. Antibiyotik. Antibiotic. Çocukken çok fazla antibiyotik içtim. When I was a child, I took antibiotic a lot. Soğuk algınlığı ilacı. Cold medicine. If you just go to a pharmacy and if you say, oh, I got cold, do you have any cold medicine? Soğuk algınlığı ilacınız var mı? Do you have cold medicine? Or you can use, do you have a medicine for Cold. Soğuk algınlığınız için bir ilaç var mı? Soğuk algınlığı için ilacınız var mı? Öksürük şurubu. Cough syrup. Let's say cough syrups have a very sour taste. <gülüyor> Öksürük şurubunun çok ekşi bir tadı vardır. Aşı. Vaccine. Aşılar sizi birçok virüsten korur. Vaccines protect you from many viruses. Ağrı kesici. Painkiller. Kesmek means basically killing it or cutting, cut or kill. Kesmek. Ağrı is like um, pain, hurt. Ağrı kesici is like painkiller. I like painkillers so much. They're a life savior. <laughs> no, I don't recommend, of course. Banyo yapmak. Bathe. Bathe. <laughs> well, for me, I bathe every day. Every single morning. <laughs> I bathe every morning. So, in Turkish, we say Her sabah banyo yaparım. Her sabah banyo yaparım. 
fırçalamak. Brush. Brush means fırçalamak. But we don't actually use it without the noun, feet or tooth. That's why I want to teach you with the noun, like tooth or teeth. Diş fırçalamak. Diş is tooth and fırçalamak is brush. So brushing your feet means dişlerini fırçalamak. You have to brush your feet after every meal. Do you do that? <gülüyor> Her yemekten sonra dişlerinizi fırçalamalısınız. Yapıyor musunuz siz bunu? Söyleyeyim bakayım. Her yemekten sonra dişlerinizi fırçalamalısınız. You have to brush your feet after every meal. Yıkamak. Wash. Mm. If you just say wash, then there are like uh, many, many ways to use that word, right? I mean, washing your clothes or washing the dishes. So it's same in Turkey. I mean, if you don't use the noun, if you don't say what are you washing, we cannot understand your action. Because it's like a hygiene action, I think it's about washing your body. Vücudunu yıkamak. Vücut is body. Vücudunu yıkamak is washing your body. If you want to ask your friend, don't ask everyone, okay? Just close friends. <laughs> uh, which body soap are you using to wash your body? Hangi vücut şampuanını kullanıyorsunuz? Vücudunuzu yıkamak için hangi vücut şampuanını kullanıyorsunuz? Taramak, comb. I think it's better to add like the noun hair before taramak so you can understand you mean like oh like combing the hair like that so saçlarını taramak or saçını taramak saç basically means hair brushing the hair and combing we only use this word only one so you can use for both if you use conditioner then you can smoothly comb your hair eğer saç kremi kullanırsan saçını kolayca tarayabilirsin if you want to say it to someone like in a more formal way, I mean, then you should say Eğer saç kremi kullanırsanız saçınızı kolayca tarayabilirsiniz. We say uh, saç kremi for conditioner and smoothly, like you can use the word kolayca like that. <laughs> I like to brush my hair. Yes, it's so cute, right? Let's get back to work. Tıraş olmak. Shave. Men shave every morning before they go to work. Erkekler işe gitmeden önce her sabah tıraş olurlar. Erkekler işe gitmeden önce her sabah tıraş olurlar. Çekiç. Hammer. Çekiç. A hammer is used to drive nails. Çivi çakmak için çekiç kullanılır. Çivi çakmak için çekiç kullanılır. Testere. Saw. A saw is used to cut trees. Testere, ağaç kesmek için kullanılır. Which is actually not good, but it's just an example. Tornavida. Screwdriver. A screwdriver is a tool for removing screws. Tornavida, çivileri sökmek için kullanılır. Tornavida, çivileri sökmek için kullanılır. Mezura, tape measure. So actually there are two types of tape measures. One of them is made of plastic and more flexible and the other one is like self-retracting uh, tape measure. So for the plastic one we say mezura and for the other one we generally use metre. Metre. Mezura. So with a tape measure, you can measure your waist. Let's say, with a tape measure, you can measure your waist. Mezura ile belinizi ölçebilirsiniz. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. I got fat. Alet kutusu. Toolbox. Every Turkish father has a toolbox. I mean, I, I don't think it's true, but generally. 
Her Türk babasının bir alet kutusu vardır. <gülüyor> Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.